Do you know why Fidel Lucas is famous? He's done over a thousand exorcisms. What did you believe? That's not the devil. Does a thief or a burglar turn on the lights when he's robbing your house? No. He prefers you to believe that he's not there, like the devil. It gets complicated when no proof of the devil is somehow proof of the devil. It's a debate, really, between does the devil live and exist, or is it a condition of mind? Who knows? But I, I you know, I, I think having doubts like I do is very healthy, because you keep open. I don't know. None of us know. Early signs of a possession are subtle. Social withdrawal, a persistent tremor in a limb. Times have you seen silence on lamps? Probably like 15. <laughs> After I saw him, like I met him, I would definitely watch it again, so it was great. Yeah, I actually watched it again recently. I watched it again about a month ago. I must have seen it about 20 times, I think. As soon as you meet him, and he's such a wonderful, you know, person and actor and human being that you just watch the film, it's like, it's not possible, he's so brilliant. And getting the chance to see him in this film, it was just amazing. Sometimes on set, he'll, he, he would, uh, you know, turn around and he'd go, uh, <laughs> like that. And so that can, you kind of go, oh my God. But uh, I know him now, so just to see the difference between Tony as a person and the, how, how amazing he is at characterization and building this incredible character is unbelievable, you know? You do not speak to it, it's the devil. I am coming for you.